Are you ready to unleash your inner stylist and create the most amazing hairstyles in Hairdresser Simulator? Overall, I was really impressed. In fact, I've come up with seven things that I think are absolutely amazing about the game. There's also three things I'm kind of worried about. And thank you to Petard Games and Frozen Way for the early access. Let's start with the first thing I really love, which are impressive hair physics. Now, typically when you have a hair simulator, it's generally cut and dry. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! I'll see myself out on that one. No, but this one really has impressive physics. There are multiple strands of hair, there are multiple things to do with it, and they've actually gone above and beyond, I think, in the physics and realism of hair. At least compared to anything else that's out there, right meow. The next thing that I love, there are layers of hair. Most customers only have one layer of hair, but you'll quickly realize that there are people with two and three layers of hair, and you'll have to hold up sub parts of their hair to do certain things, and it's just really fantastic. They surprise me again with the amount of stylist tools that they give you. From the water spray to the hair dryer, straightener, curling iron, two different types of scissors, the dye brush. There's honestly plenty of things that keep you interested. There is a character creator, but don't let this fool you into thinking it's the main character you play as. This is for the sandbox mode where you can cut and style the character's hair to your content. But of course, everyone will make themselves and the creator anyway, just like I did. And the sounds that all of these things make are just, you could honestly maybe make an ASMR video off of this alone. Let me try it for just five seconds. Hairdresser Simulator does have a story mode and there is progression. You start with buying a little abandoned meat shop, turn it into your little hunky-dory salon, and work your way to the tippity top and own more salons, more employees, until you're just doing the whole entire city's Another great thing is the simple and fast salon designing. They don't make it an atrociously long amount of time to paint the walls, paint the floors, all that stuff. It's really fast with just button presses and thank you, thank you, thank you for not being annoying with it. Mm. Mm. Now let's talk about some things that I'm worried about. What if there's a limited number of hairstyles and scenarios? In story mode, you actually have a list of clients every day and you, you know, bring them in, do their hair how they want and do what they need to get done and then they leave. So I just wonder how many scenarios there actually are. If there's not enough, that could lead to the next thing that I'm worried about, which is too simplistic or repetitive. As much as these tools are available to us, what if there's just not enough creativity to go around? And by that I mean I'm terrible at thinking about hairstyles because I'm not a hairdresser. So for me, I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna cut it the same way every single time. Now if you're really creative, obviously you can do whatever you want and you're gonna have a heyday. But for the more general gamers that love simulator games that try this out, I don't know, it might be too repetitive too fast. Now I'm being super critical because it was already hard enough to think of three things that I was worried about. All in all, this is an impressive hairstyling game that you should play if you love simulators and of course if you love hairstyles. If you love learning about new games, unique games, and upcoming games, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe so you never miss out on a new video, and you can click this video to find out how I turned $100 into $10,000 playing poker in the new game Cosmos Delivery and Logistics.